About uh, 10.30 on October 28th, Monday, October 28th, 2013. Oh, here we go again. This countdown timer. Countdown timer is not starting. <laughs> every, once in a while, every once in a while, I have a problem with the countdown timer, and either I press the wrong place or something like that. It just doesn't start the way it should start and uh, causes that lag uh, in, in our discussion, in our conversation. Um... Yeah, this is the uh, the first segment of the uh, BTS vlog for uh, Monday, uh, October 28th, uh, 2013. As I said, this is the date stamp for that. We finished up oh, a couple hours ago. The uh, we, we finished up the the, uh, the weekend's vlog, which we, was covered uh, October 25th to October 28th. So just a, two, a few hour span. We went from finishing the, the day to starting the day. And actually, I've had the day started for a while now. Uh, I just got caught up in some of the research I was doing. Uh, and actually, there's a research program up there right now. And uh, it's in the area that, that, that I've talked about before my Insta vlogs. And the, the Insta vlogs are going to be coming back. On quantum, it's in our first foray into Insta vlog is on quantum psychology. This is the new approach to psychology from the view of quantum physics uh, basically taking an observational approach uh, we don't use any labs, we don't use guinea pigs uh, the view is there's enough evidence out there already, enough observable evidence out there uh, that we do not need to go and create studies uh, to show the effects that uh, we're looking for or is not, and this is the incorrect thing, we're not looking for effects uh, what we're doing is we're looking to understand oh, uh, how human beings behave and the reasons why they do some of the things they do. And it's always a, this is always a difficult subject because uh, when you're talking about someone's behavior, sometimes you've got to point things out, particularly in an observational situation, that people may not necessarily be comfortable with. And it's always, you know, you yourself, as the observer, as the scientist, uh, in this observational position, when you're when you're required to produce the report, you have to consider the other person's feelings and uh, how they're going to perceive what the, what's being written, uh, and so on and so forth. In other words, uh, every time you interact in, in an observational psychology um, discussion and a person who's doing this type of research, you need to be aware that at some point in time you're going to be analyzed and this is going to become, it's going to become, you're going to become part of this person's observations and therefore some of the research notes. Although this is not always necessarily understood or, uh, or, or uh, kind of uh, wanted, oh, excuse me, still fatigue from the, from the weekend. And, so it does become a, 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 it does present a difficulty in terms of how we go about proceeding with this but we'll work that out as we go along uh, we, I do have someone I'm talking to the, uh, the, the, the uh, I began with uh, over the summer uh, there's been a bit of a break because it was was putting together a new lab for this but now we're getting back together we've got a new camera if you notice the quality difference there's a difference in, 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 the, in the quality so that's because we've got a new camera now on our desk and on the research desk and it produces a better quality so anyways um, I'm gonna leave this here for now and I will come back to this topic in oh a couple hours I've got a couple more hours worth of research to do research to do. And then uh, I will come back and uh, uh, talk to you guys. All right, take it easy. It's uh, time to uh, it's time to uh, start this <laughs> last segment of the BTS vlog. Uh, it's it's uh, about six thirty in the morning on October 28th, 29th, I should say. It's Tuesday, October 29th. It's uh, six thirty in the morning. So get my bearings, my my uh, time bearings, and uh, this is the ending BTS vlog for the period of October 20th and October 29th. What happens is the way the day goes, as you see, is that it's broken up into bits and pieces. 
Uh, particularly when, it, when this is more so when it's uh, I'm on the uh, crash mode. And basically, uh, since Sunday, actually since Saturday, I've been in this you know heavy crash mode where uh, I it, it's just been I've been sleeping more often than not. And so just uh, when I'm up briefly uh, for two three hours, uh, that's when I get my work done. But anyways, I'm gonna be trying to get in a few hours. Uh, probably by 8.30, trying to get the day start, a normal day started today. Let's see if I can do that. As I said, sometimes it takes me about uh, a week to really get started back to my no my usual schedule uh, of uh, research and studying. But we'll see what ha we'll see what happens. We'll see how things go. Uh, I'm going to try it out today. Today is going to be a test to see what I can get done. And again, the whole thing is, is we're, we're work I'm working on a on an efficiency model trying to make sure trying to see if and this is what efficiency really really means is it's trying to see the amount of work you can get done uh with yeah the amount of work you can get done in a unit time like you know let's say in an hour how much work can you do and the thing is is that what you want to do is you don't want to stress yourself out what you want to do is you want to make sure that the work you get done in that hour is done with the least amount of effort. In other words, you'll want to see your least amount of effort with, with your least, least amount of effort, with your least amount of effort. How much work you can actually get done. This will determine when you're on a down day and you're, you're kind of off. This will determine how much you can actually get done when all you have is your minimum resources. In other words. What you're doing in this case is when, when you're searching for the the the, uh, the edges of your efficiency, you're looking primarily. You don't want to look for your top efficiency. You want to look for your bottom efficiency because that's going to tell you where uh, you need to improve if you need to improve in order so that when you're in that down period, when you're sort of not feeling up to your uh, normal pace, you can get a certain amount of work done that will be sufficient to carry you through until you get to the point where you're back to normal again. Uh, and then what happens is that if you work towards that bottom, because you're always trying to improve that bottom, everything else above the bottom, above the minimum, actually improves as well. So it's not as if you're just working on the bottom, that, that's all you're doing, working on the bottom. That's not the case at all. Is You're actually working on everything because once you work on the bottom and you start to improve yourself, your, your, your minimum, then you can move yourself up from there on out. And uh, that's, that, that's kind of, uh, you know, what goes on here is, is uh, uh, in someone on a daily basis in the back of your mind as you're doing the research here, you want to see how much you can get done, what, what the schedules are. And so I think uh, one of the better things to do right now uh, would be to uh, set a daily schedule and this is, and this is the list of some of the things that need to get done, done. And that's not necessarily indicative of everything I'm going to be doing during the day. Just to sort of see how much of what I, how much of what I state needs to be done in terms of this list, this, this sort of this sort of you know an approximate list. Uh, how much of that I can actually get done, and, and and where I do, where do I need to improve in order to get this list done? So that's what I'm going to do is to start seeing this. Uh, at the beginning of the BTS vlog, uh, we're going to talk about the uh, the daily schedule, what sort of needs to be done, and then at the end of the day, see if uh, I've met some part or none of you know how much of that that schedule did I actually meet? Uh, because I do have a, a, a problem in uh, meeting some of the schedules because things pop up that you don't necessarily expect them to pop up, and and. and Although you allot time for these different things, if something comes in that's unexpected and throws your system off, then what happens, the things you have scheduled, and this is why schedules always need to be a property. You can't really live your life to a, to a schedule. Schedules are just simply there as guidelines, as, uh, as a ruler, to sort of see as a measure of, uh, of where, where you need to improve in terms of your efficiency, uh, in terms of your own particular goals and objects. So it's very relative, it's very subjective in terms of how we set this. But we'll try it out anyways. I said I, I do this in my mind anyways, but I think I bring it up more here. And, and but the reason why I'm doing this 
is uh, to change the perspective of vlogs, particularly here, because we are doing uh, the daily vlogs here, but we're going to expand the vlogs with Insta vlogs. Uh, and the production notes for the Insta vlogs have been set up. And I went down and reorganized everything in terms of the production notes so they fit in better with the notes that I have uh, okay, for my research. Because the Insta vlogs are my research notes, they are the notes that will eventually become part of a documentary. And there's actually a lot of it, there's a lot there for me. And I realized as I was looking at it and I was talking about some other stuff uh, or, 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 to other people and also mulling it over in my mind that vlogs are actually logs. They're, they're the logs and journals that uh, many scientists, many researchers, many explorers keep. So what happens, a vlog can actually reflect this. And uh, you can see as much or as little as you want. You know, what you want to see is because everything on, is, is video on demand now with YouTube. So uh, you can see as much or as little. Uh, the other thing that's sort of uh, up now and sort of you'll start seeing this is uh, I've got the BTS vlogs, which are their daily vlogs, back on schedule again. We are basically within the day uh, of posting. So uh, the day this is filmed, and a couple of hours from now, uh, basically like five o'clock in the afternoon, this is going to be up. So you'll be able to see, you know, within that day what's actually going on. So th these are. Th I think this is something good. I think we're progressing here, and I think we should be able to keep on track. Uh, with a new filming system and the way we, we've got things going. So, uh, the next goal is to set up and work for improvement. Anyways, I'm going to leave it here. The time is almost up. And I will see you in a couple hours for the next BTS vlog. Alright, bye-bye.